trick that, quite frankly, uh, actually fooled me when I first saw it. The trick that fooled Shin Lin is a trick so cunning and refined. Shin had no idea how it was done. It completely deceived his mind. It was performed in a busy magic shop. The crowd were amazed like Shin. For this trick is a true masterpiece. Let the performance of it begin. Uh, actually fooled me when I first saw it. The magician took a deck of cards and cut them in half. He then instructed Shin to cut them too. He then told Shin to reach into the deck and pull out any card that he liked. This was a completely free choice and couldn't be any more fair. In this case, Shin had chosen the Seven of Spades. The magician then even turned the deck over to show Shin that all the cards were genuinely different and his choice was completely free. He even let Shin return his card anywhere he wanted in the deck. Shin looked to see if the magician made any funny moves, but he saw nothing. The magician then did what no magician ever does. He gave Shin the cards and told him to shuffle them up. Shin took the cards and mixed them up himself even more, losing the random selection even further into the deck. The magician didn't know what Shin's card was, nor did he know where it was in the deck. The magician then took the deck back and spread out all the cards. He asked Shin if he could see his selection. Shin said yes. The magician waved his hands over the deck and told Shin to think of his card. Through reading Shin's body language, the magician slowly eliminated cards in small groups. Suddenly he stopped, pointed to one card and told Shin that he was thinking of the Seven of Spades. Shin said yes. This trick is a true magician fooler. You're going to split your cards into two piles. Take one card and place it into a pile and then find the matching card and number and same color suit and place that into the other pile. For example, the 10 of diamonds would go with the 10 of hearts. The six of spades would go with the six of clubs. Now place both piles on top of each other and you're ready to begin. Show the spectator that all the cards are different. Then cut the cards as much as you like. It really doesn't matter. Let the spectator choose a card. This will split the deck in two from where they've chosen their card. Place the pile that was below the spectator's card on top of the deck. In this case, the spectator has chosen the Eight of Spades. Turn the deck over and then let the spectator see that they could have genuinely selected any card. As you do this, remember the top card. In this case, it's the Six of Hearts. Now spread through the cards and ex whilst explaining to the spectator that they could have chosen any of these cards, look for that card's pair. In this case, it will be the Six of Diamonds. Then look at the card above this card, in this case the Eight of Clubs, and the pair to that card will be the Spectator Selection. So we know that the Spectator has the pair to the Eight of Clubs, which in this case will be the Eight of Spades. I'll show you that again. 
The spectator chooses a card. In this case, it's the Ten of Hearts. Turn the deck over. Remember the top card. In this case, the Nine of Spades. And then find its pair, which will be the Nine of Clubs. Look at the card above the Nine of Clubs, which in this case will be the Ten of Diamonds. And then you know that the spectator's card is the matching card to the Ten of Diamonds, which will be the Ten of Hearts. Now that you know what their card is, the rest of the trick is just showmanship. Let them put their card in the deck and shuffle it up as much as they like. Then spread out the cards, wave your hands over them and pretend to read their body language to eventually select their card. The reason this trick fools magicians is because the deck looks completely genuinely shuffled before, during and after the trick and they have no idea that it's stacked. The most important part of this trick is to justify why you're turning over the cards when you're secretly working out what their selection is. Emphasize that you're just showing them that they could have genuinely selected any card.